So we have the Qualcomm at CES 2012. What are you showing here? Okay, hi. So uh, at CES 2012, uh, we announced uh, use of uh, Snapdragon now beyond uh, mobiles and tablets and now into the TVs. What I have here is a, a reference platform, a development platform. Uh, as a set of box connected to an off-the-shelf TV. It's running Android and we've built uh, a user interface uh, with uh, Unity uh, to explore the rich graphics capabilities of this chip. So you can see that uh, we, on this UI, we, we mixed uh, an internet, uh, Android application world with the TV. Um, and and I, as I navigate to the icons, you can see the 3D animations. And from here, I can launch up uh, other games and applications such as this game, which was uh, optimized uh, for our Snapdragon chip. And I'm going to play it with, uh, with a gamepad. Uh, uh, this is the, the Logitech uh, wireless uh, radio. Uh, but um, I think what I want to highlight is really uh, the, 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 the graphics that we offer with the Snapdragon S3, providing a, a user in, uh, experience similar to a real game console. So it's a game console we think um, either embedded on the TV if the Snapdragon chip is on the TV or on, on the setup box if the Snapdragon is on the setup box. And uh, you can see here uh, the agility, the, the, the the definition here of the game. So is it 720p? Yeah, 720p uh, game. Right. Now I'm going to show you uh, some other applications that we have here. So right now we, we're running off a uh, de development board, right? Yes, that's the, the development platform. Or MSM, uh, what do you call it? APQ uh, 8060. Um, and uh, and we're gonna, what we announced uh, publicly uh, on Tuesday is the introduction of the MPQ, which is a, a chip specific for the TV and set the box market. Uh, what we have here is a dual core uh, CPU, uh, 1.2 gigahertz. And uh, the 8064 is in fact a quad core CPU, uh, 1.5 gigahertz each. A AG64. AG64. So are you showing that now? Or are you no, that's about uh, that's uh, what announced. we announced in the press release. Here, right? For, yes, exactly. Right. On Tuesday. So, what's the difference between AD64 and S4? Uh, so, AD64 is part of the S4 uh, family of uh, of chips. So, S4 is more the, the category. AD64 is the specific part. So, the MPQ AD64 is the specific part for the for the TV. So, um, what I want to show you is that, uh, uh, first, I don't know if you saw on the, on the corner, uh, my picture just uh, came up, and that's because we have the, the camera connected to the set of box. Normal USB webcam? USB webcam, uh, and it uses a software that comes with, uh, with the chip uh, for facial recognition. And the idea is that the, the, the whole user experience can be configured to the person uh, in front of the TV. So if you have maybe a child in front of the TV, you can have an EPG uh, tailored for, for a child experience or parental controls. Uh, so that's kind of the, the idea. You see that I just changed the profile based on, on, the, on the... How about video conferencing? Video conferencing we have here. Uh, in fact, um, um, we, we, uh, we have video conferencing as well as uh, uh, gesture. So gesture is something that we will soon also introduce in, 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 in uh, this uh, demo platform. Is it uh, something that basically any smartphone could do an HDMI output as well? That's, that's true, in theory, yeah. because it's, it's the same chip, in fact. I mean, we have many tablets and, and, and smartphones with this chip. Uh, and uh, here we just really customize the UI user experience to the big screen. But this um, is not Google TV. This is an Android. So we Android based? Android based. Uh, we, we developed this, uh, this UI on top of Android. I want to show you uh, one idea here for the uh, for I mean, for the use of, of the, the performance and the, the processing that we're putting on, on this chip, uh, and I'm, I'm going to show you doing multitasking on, on the screen, where so, so you can have a split screen between, let's say, a, a video playback and a browser, as I'm showing now, or I could also 
uh, be showing you um, a video together with a with a high quality uh, game. So maybe I mean, parent and son are, are are on in front of the TV. One is doing a game. The other one is uh, nice. watching. Could you so, even output two, two different screens from the same box? Um, that's I mean something that uh, it depends on, on on the output configuration, but um, that 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 is something uh, that that could be, could be done uh, here. I mean, I just have the game on a, on a track mode. Now, um, the other, what we also uh, have done here is um, um, some some concepts of uh, integrating Facebook uh, for knowing what your friends are watching, yeah. and then decide what you want to uh, uh, potentially uh, experience on the TV as well. Um, so. So, at which point the uh, TV is going to ship with this? So, I can show you right now, which is the TV right next uh, there, which is a Lenovo TV. It's this was uh, announced, um, so it's it was shown on Paul Jacobs' uh, keynote as well. It's selling in China? Uh, it's selling in China right now? Uh, it's uh, going to be uh, released in, in, in China. It's a, it's a TV for the China market. Uh, it also it uses the same uh, chip as we have on that development platform. Um, and so a dual core um, and running Android uh, ice cream sandwich. It's not a module that you can ex uh, change. Uh, no, here, no. So here, so here, here is definitely the, the chip is embedded on the TV. Uh, on that one is it was a set top box through an HDMI out. And it's, uh, but it's not the S4 here, right? No, the here is the S3. S3. Right. Uh, so uh, you can see here that what uh, Lenovo is showing at uh, our booth is their uh, user interface where they they basically created uh, three three worlds or, 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 or three screens uh, where they take the user to a video on demand their own video on demand service and this is Android this is Android uh, ice cream sandwich uh, so uh, they have another um, uh, part of their UI for applications and gaming so uh, where, where, where they can uh, uh, offer high quality games similar to the ones you, we saw on that, that other demo and um, I'm gonna show you one example it's so this is a, a you may probably remind of uh, some other games you have seen in, in, in game consoles it's a, it's a motion sensor. remote yeah. so basically you can play with your oops need to practice a little bit more nice all right so lots of uh, Qualcomm power TVs coming out and set the boxes set the boxes I think that's uh, um, we're, we're, we're gonna uh, be uh, we're working with uh, several uh, parties and hopefully be able to share more information soon with you and Google TV is similar to Android on the TV right right it's so close. right so I think um, uh, Qualcomm has a big experience uh, with uh, Google uh, OSs uh, so Android uh, as an example we know the smartphones tablets now on TV uh, so I think that's uh, that's the the, the, the um, path that we, we are proceeding now uh, as we take a Snapdragon uh, into the TV space.